Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with my new piece of demo equipment. So I got a chance to try this out at Fabtech 2019. So it is a 40 amp machine, uh, 40 amp plasma cutting machine. It is on, it does 120 or 240. Uh, it's got a plug adapter with it. Uh, just on the back here, just going over some real quick things. Uh, it comes with the air fitting, which we're gonna hook on. And then the plug is the Classic ESAB plug, or the switch, I should say, is the classic ESAB switch. Pretty nice and durable. This unit weighs 22 pounds, so it's it's really pretty light. Has a 50 millimeter detachable ground, or 50 millimeter DENS detachable ground, and then it has a quick locking torch. So it only goes in one way. It's actually pretty easy to get in there. Uh, it's got a flat spot on there, and it's a quick lock or quick twist lock, so pretty cool. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna cut with this unit, so it's rated for half inch cut and pierce. It'll sever up to one inch um, on 240 volt. We're gonna cut with it, we're gonna go over some of the consumables that it comes with and some of the other options that it has. So let's give this thing a try and uh, let's cut with it. So before I cut here, uh, we're gonna put this machine on. Comes through, gives you a so it's a 40 amp machine, see? It goes down to 15 amps. So <clears throat> as you turn it on, as long as all your parts are in place, it'll tell you, it'll give you a little warning saying, yep, everything's in place. Right here's your voltage input, we're good. So it's an, it's a, it recognizes what voltage we're, we're plugged into. Uh, the air, there is no adjustment for that. It automatically sets the air for us. This is an over temperature light. So if we overdo it, light comes on. And then this is our output voltage. This only comes on when, we, when we're cutting. So uh, just to give you a little rundown on the torch too, it's an SL60. They made this since the early 2000s. It's a 60 amp torch, comes on a 40 amp machine. So you're getting a little bit, you know, it's a, it's a heavier duty torch for the machine that it comes on. It's a 15 foot whip, so you can get 15 foot away. And once again, it's got that detachable ground. Some other competitors don't. So this thing you can take away, wrap up, so let's give this thing a shot here. So on the, uh, got this hood here. So with the first thousand units sold, this thing comes free. So it's an $80 value. It has a shade five and a shade three, making it a total of a shade seven. Now I know those two together are eight, but you got a minus one when you combine them. So it makes it a shade seven. We're gonna give this thing a shot. All right, so here we got a piece of half inch. Let's give this thing a shot here. I got a drag nozzle on, or a drag shield on there so we can just drag across the piece. cut at all. Cuts right through that thing. I just had a little piece that connected back, but other than that, it did pretty nice. Um, let me give it another shot. Try it out on this piece of quarter. Give it a ground. That quarter inch really well too. That's that's pretty cool. So we're at 40 amps. Um, have a piece of three quarter here. Let's just see what we can do. Now remember, it, it can sever up to one inch. Rated for half inch, three quarters right in the middle. Give it a shot.
Okay, you saw it. Three quarter inch. Not too bad of a cut. A little bit of dross on the end of that, but um, not bad at all. So we cut through that. Pretty decent. So that that's just a 40 inch machine. So I mean, we're we're pushing that pretty hard, but half inch it cut through. You saw a quarter inch it cut through. Does pretty good. Does pretty good. Shut this down here. All right. So the overall my overall opinion on this machine is it's it's actually a very durable machine. So it's drop rated at three feet. It's IP23 rated um, for weather that kind of thing. So outdoor use. I think this unit would be uh, very fitted for. Um, light fabrication, home hobby, or job site, uh, let's just say industrial commercial kind of setting where you, you, you're you limited on uh, space or you got to carry this thing into a job quite a ways. It's very light. Um, it's very nice and I think it'll do a, a really good job if you're uh, cutting wise, whatever you're cutting up to a half inch, you know, it'll uh, does really well. But all in all, I mean, the, the gun's really nice. It's just an SL60. It's, it's a nice torch. Um, I like the quick twist. I like the DINs connection that we can just take off and wrap up, bundle up. The handles are very nice. It's easy to grab. Um, feels like a very durable machine. The torch is very durable. All in all, it's a pretty nice unit for uh, being a 40 amp machine. Now, price point on this unit, I, I'll have all the details linked below on the price point, the consumables, that kind of thing. The price point right now is uh, heard right around 1400 bucks. Comparable to uh, the competition, it's it's right in line with those guys. And actually you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck in this unit. So consumables it comes with, it comes with a consumable kit. They do throw in the, the Black Series consumables, which last 60% longer, up to 60% longer. Um, so the only negative thing that I don't like about this unit is that it doesn't come with a case. Um, there's nothing, it just come, came in the box and then this is essentially the carrying case. But my question was, what, what am I gonna do with my leads, my ground, you know, do, where do I wrap them up? And then it also, it has an option for a strap, but it didn't come with the strap. I don't know, I figured you just throw the strap in there, but either way. So going back to this hood now, this thing ate out $80 value. So the first thousand sold, you get a free helmet. So it's actually a really good value, $80 value, and it's actually a really nice hood. It's got some good headgear. Um, it was really pretty comfortable. I could see a lot. The viewing range was nice. Um, and that's a nice cutting hood for the for what for what it is, and it comes free with this unit. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, stay tuned for more. Uh, and uh, like I said below, a link below is gonna be a, the price, the consumables that comes with, the details on the hood. Um, and other options like that. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Tune in at Baker's Gas. Thank you.